To never be confused, anatomy has a verbal map, a directional language of standardized terms to explain where one part of the body is in relation to another. We always look at the body like this, in anatomical position. The body is erect, facing forward, arms are at the side, and the palms are facing forward, and the feet are also pointing forward. First we have the term superior or inferior. Superior means towards the head, or it could also mean upper or above. Inferior means towards the feet, or used to say lower or below. So we'll say the heart is located superior to the stomach, or we could say the stomach is located inferior to the heart. So that would mean the lungs are blank to the diaphragm, or I can say that the diaphragm is blank to the lungs. Comment below what you think. Now for the terms anterior and posterior. Anterior means further to the front or in front of. Posterior means further to the back or in the back of. So we could say that the sternum is anterior to the heart or the heart is posterior to the sternum. Sometimes you'll see the words ventral and dorsal. Don't be confused. Ventral just means anterior and dorsal just means posterior. We will also use anterior to say we are looking at the body from the front. It's an anterior view. And the posterior view, meaning we are looking at the body from the back. Let's try this. The pectoralis minor muscle here is blank to the scapula. Or the scapula is blank to the pec minor muscle. Comment below what you think. Next, we have the terms medial and lateral. To discuss this, we draw an imaginary line down the midline of our body. This divides the body into the right and left half. When we say medial, it means towards the midline of the body. And so lateral would mean away from the midline and towards the side of the body. So we can now say that the heart lies medial to the lungs towards the midline, or we could say that the lungs lie lateral to the heart away from the midline. The term lateral is also used to describe the view of the body. Here the side of the body is in its lateral view. Look at this and answer below in the comments. The eyes are blank to the nose, and the nose is blank to the eyes. Comment below what you think. Next we'll discuss the terms proximal and distal. For this, just like we saw the midline, we are now going to create a mental map of the axial body and the appendicular body, just like this. Axial body is the head, neck, and trunk, and the appendicular body consists of the limbs that are added to our axial body. Proximal means closer to the axial body, towards the trunk of the body, the core. Distal means further from the axial body, further from the trunk. So for example, we can say that the elbow is proximal to the hand, or the hand is distal to the elbow, because the elbow is closer to the axial body, right? Okay, so how about this? The pelvic bone is blank to the femur, or the femur bone is blank to the pelvic bone. Comment below what you think. Lastly, we have the terms superficial and deep. Superficial just means closer to the surface, the skin of the body. And deep means further away from the surface of the body. So we can say that the sternum is superficial to the heart, or the heart is deep to the sternum. We hope this helps. Do you want more of these videos? We can only continue with your support. And donate to help us write more books. Are you learning something from our videos? Well then click the subscribe button to your right. We are releasing high yield lessons and ways for you to get ahead in class. Be sure to follow us on Instagram to take interactive quizzes and view your favorite diagrams. Nothing can stop you, but only if you believe in yourself. You got this.